Welcome to the Berkshire Museum's Daily Doodle. I'm Liz. And I'm Pete. The Daily Doodle is where we take the word of the day and use it to inspire some doodles. So let's grab some paper and maybe something to draw with and, and let's, let's get, get doodling! Howdy ho, Peter. Hey there, Liz. Today's word of the day is discover. So Ooh. that... So that means uh, to find something or someone unexpectedly or as part of a search. Ooh. What can we discover today? I don't know. So I'm seeing some, it looks like rocks, maybe? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at drawing rocks, but we are going to discover something in rocks today. What do you think you could we could find and or discover in rocks? Ooh, uh, you might be able to find some <laughs> gems in rocks. Ooh. I know that people have found gold in rocks. They have found gold in rocks, like opals. Mm -hmm. Do they find rocks? Uh, you might find out that, uh, that your rock is a geode and is hollow and filled with stuff. Oh, but I'm seeing a footprint. Footprint! We're finding fossils today. We're discovering fossils. Ooh, that's very cool. You know, it was your suggestion. <laughs> I was helpfully giving you a lot of ideas. I said a lot of things. When I ask Peter little doodlers at home for suggestions, they always somehow come back to space pigs and or dinosaurs. <laughs> so. I have I have a theme. There are two very cool things in this world, space and dinosaurs. So if I ever get dinosaurs in space, I'm I'm sold. It's amazing. It's, I don't even question anything about it. It's just that's great. Sounds like a wonderful low budget film, dinosaurs in space. Oh, a hundred percent, and one I would watch without question. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. So I think drawing didn't take a lot of time for my doodle today. It's gonna be coloring that it's gonna. I feel like get Make there. It it's a lot get, like, of cheating. Yeah. It can be tough. Mm -hmm. So what are some things our friends at home can discover? You can discover just about anything. Like, learning is a form of discovery, but also, like, talking to people is a form of discovery because you discover something new you didn't know about them. Like, simply waking up every day is a form of discovery. <laughs> so, you know, it is almost limitless, Peter, I feel. Where, where could our friends go if they wanted to discover more about, let's say, dinosaurs or space? Mm, a museum? Yeah. Uh, and if you're at home, you can always try uh, a book. You might be able to discover some interesting facts about dinosaurs in a book. Or, you know, if you... Uh, watch some some videos of it there might be a good documentary on dinosaurs i've watched a lot of videos on youtube about dinosaur extinction recently Ooh. yeah there's a lot of information out there there's some smart smart people you know actually one of my cousins is an archaeologist no he's a paleontologist which <laughs> is a person that studies dinosaurs can't believe i got that wrong so sorry. <laughs> and for those of you at home we're going to do an extra definition today this is a quick one. A paleontologist studies dinosaurs and and an archaeologist studies sort of ancient cultures and peoples. So yeah. they're both digging up things and discovering. But very different time periods. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very different time periods. Yeah. OK, I think we're getting to the end here. I think I'm going to like put my pencil down. Um, All right. Uh, everyone at home, just grab your paper, your pens, your pencils, your paints, and just keep doodling.